My name is Barry Ellis. <laughs> Did you say something? Well, I said my name is Larry Ellis, and I've been wanting to meet you, and I didn't know how, so I figured the best way was to plunge right in, even if I make a fool of myself. That took a lot of courage, Larry. Well, I've been sitting over near that tree, eating my lunch by myself since the semester started. And if I didn't meet you soon, the semester would be over, and I'd have to wait all summer for another chance. Did I say something wrong? I think it's just because you managed to say everything in one sentence, which is quite a talent. Well, it's not that I'm not used to talking to girls. It's just that it takes me longer to get acquainted. I think you do just fine. Just fine. Don't you know how bad you are? Oh, hey, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't even see you. You know, man, you ought to wear a hat with a feather in it or something. <laughs> Why don't you look where you're going? Well, you listen to the sounds that come out of it. You're not very funny. Lord, no, little fella. I mean, you're the one who's breaking everybody up. Don't huh? call me little fella. <laughs> well, baby, what you want me to call you, man? Moose? <laughs> <laughs> hey, be cool, man. Be cool. Oh, wow. Look at that, too. Oh, wow. Get on out of here, baby, before Tiger here beats my brains out. <laughs> you didn't have to be so mean to him. Mean? Was I mean? I thought I was pretty tolerant, considering I was the one who was attacked. You started it. You provoked him. Oh, look, baby, that little chump's been bugging everybody in school who's half an inch taller than he is. Look, if he wants to come on like such a big man, and he's got to back it up with something more than his mouth. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> come on. And the clay streets of San Francisco became quagmires, into which the city threw loads of brushwood and limbs of trees. As a result, mules stumbled in the streets and drowned in the liquid mud. Sometimes horse and wagon were swallowed up, the owner barely escaping. At the corner of Clay and Kearney, a sign was posted, this street is impassable. Not even jackassable? <laughs> <laughs> With that, class dismissed. Larry. Huh? Class is over. Oh. Well, I was working things out in my head. Like how to win friends and influence people? He was making fun of me. He made me look like some kind of idiot. I saw that little episode at lunch. Larry, don't you think you're taking this thing too seriously? It happens all the time. People only like you for what you look like and not for what you are inside. It's not always true. I'm a shrimp and nothing can change that. I know I've tried. I wore high heel cowboy boots till I could hardly walk. I even tried stretching myself by hanging from the horizontal bar. But all I got from that was sore armpits. You know something, Larry? A lot of short men have done pretty well for themselves. Yeah, like Mickey Rooney and Napoleon. It's no use. I'm doomed to be a 97-pound weakling. I identify with him. I really do. I, too, was a shrimp. Being a girl shrimp is not the same as being a boy shrimp. How do you tell the difference? Well, anyway, Larry needs something to build his self-esteem. He's uptight and it's affecting his studies. If only Larry could have picked up that Vic Martin and given him a twirl, like Superman. There's an idea. Why don't we put in a call to the planet Krypton, calling Superman? <laughs> it might not be such a bad idea. What, Superman? Karate. Karate? Don't you think that's a little bit extreme? I mean, you don't want to turn the kid into a killer. Karate doesn't turn people into killers. It's quite the opposite. That's true. It builds self-confidence. I was very interested in that when I was in the service. Look, karate is designed to give man a sense of self-worth. But more than that, it makes him peaceful and gentle. <laughs> Blind side kick. Yeah. Come on, 
two, and... One stretch. Ready. Fight. 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 Okay, punching. Ready. Fight. 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 Okay, front kick. Ready. Fight. 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 Oh, yes. What we expect is always greater than what we get. Emerson? Seymour Coffin. Don't worry. Larry will make it. Sure he will. Those guys can make it, he can make it. I hope. Okay, Larry, this is a kata or design form called Pyong and Yidan. It's a simulated defense against several attackers. Notice the uh, yell or the key eye that he does. That's to help generate more power in his techniques. In this form, you're helping develop balance, coordination, power, endurance. You can see the tremendous power he's going through there. Everyone's dismissed, except for Larry. I would like to work with you a little bit, Larry. Okay, let's work on that fiber fighting stance now, Larry. If you down the fighting stance here. That's it. Okay, extend your left hand out in front of you. Oh, no, that's your right hand, Larry. That boy. Okay, now the right hand back to your side here and clinch your fist very tightly against your side. That's good. Okay, now feel yourself balanced now. Okay. See, now you don't put too much weight on that front leg. See, otherwise you get swept out from under you there. Okay. okay. Now you should be in such a position now. If I push this extended fist, you shouldn't be moved. Okay? Mm -hmm. No. Uh. Oh, oh. Oh, you were going to tell me about the time when you were in the service, something about karate. Oh, yes, you're dying to hear about that, aren't you? I'm sure I eventually will anyway. Okay. Well, it was during World War II. I, uh, I felt called upon to help a little Italian girl that was being molested outside of a delicatessen in Rome. I, uh, I subdued the guy that was molesting her with a, uh, what I call a double arm lock whammy. Beautiful. A double arm lock whammy. Oh, see, she must have been very grateful. Oh, yeah. She was so grateful she hit me over the head with a salami. That's good. The, uh, the guy that was trying to molest her was her boyfriend. That's it. That's it. Straight like that. Okay, let's try it now. Okay. Ready? Hey! 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 Good, good. Good English teachers, you know. Wow, so I didn't see you. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. But don't you think you were doing it just a bit? Well, you know, you gotta keep loose. Right. Yeah, you gotta keep loose, all right. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't, you know, your muscles kind of tighten up. Right. Yeah. How, how's it coming, anyway? Oh, fantastic. It's really the greatest thing I've ever done. Good. <laughs> keep up the good work. Okay. Ha! 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 Hi, Dixon. Hi. I was just telling Miss Johnson about uh, working out at the dojo every day after school. You know, uh, Chuck Norris is the world karate champion. He's fantastic. You know, he can take on five guys at a time. Five. It's pretty great. Well, what are those for? The boys? Yeah. Come on, I want to show you something. <laughs> These boys are half-inch thick. And, and uh, they're cut from ponderosa pine. 
Larry, don't you think I this place is a them little... together like this, which makes an inch thickness. Now, now what I'm going to do is simply chop these boards in half with one blow of my hand. <laughs> Did you hear my man? He's going to smash all those boards with his mighty hand. <laughs> you think you can do it? No, man. Why, why would I want to do that? I might get the splinter in my pinky or something. <laughs> well, I've been practicing karate for three weeks, see? And I can do it easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, show me, baby. Show me. Let me see your callus. Let me check you out. Baby, you can't do it. You ain't even got no callus on your hand. Everybody know you got to have at least three inches of callus on your hand. Uh, Larry, it might be better if you showed me somewhere else. I want to show him. I want to show him he can't push me around anymore. Any of them. They're going to get in this thing to get the biggest concentration. Look out, y'all. He's going to do it now. Shh. He's going to do it. <laughs> to break boards, you have to combine concentration and inner strength and speed and power. take them too seriously. Heck no. I'm used to it. I thought it was a very interesting demonstration. I mean, what you were trying to do. I've done it before, lots of times. What happens, happens to the best in karate. You know, Larry, you don't really need karate. Oh, yes, I do. I mean, you're very interesting without it. Haven't you had enough fun at my expense? I wasn't making fun of you. I meant that. Sure you did. Like you dig me for my character. Something like that. Look, I may be short, but I'm not an idiot. You better get back over there to the one you really dig before somebody else gets him. Not my hand that hurts. I know. It's your pride. But it wasn't exactly a failure. What would you call it? Minor setback. You just got a little ahead of yourself. Well, I did it at the dojo. I broke two boards. Well, you can't exactly depend on that ponderosa pine, you know. Maybe it was a little green. Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe that's why it wouldn't break. Maybe you both were a little green. But in time, with a little ripening, you should be okay. Just don't give up. Give up? I won't give up till I'm a black belt. Good. you holler for help like everybody else. You know, you got them started on this stuff. Don't you think you better slow them down a little bit? Well, you thought it was a good idea. Yeah, but I didn't know he was going to turn into a... Uh... A killer. He hasn't hurt anybody, has he? No, but if he keeps up like this, we won't have any doors left. And, and I'm getting a tick in my face from those screams of his. Look, right here under my eyes, twitching. No, really, all the boys in my class think I'm winking at them. Frankly, it worries me. A killer loose on the premises. Oh, I think you're all just getting a little too uptight for nothing. I thought you said this thing would make him more peaceful and gentle. 
look. You call that being more peaceful and gentle? Boy, Pete, you have created some kind of monster. Pete, you know, we wanted him to have self-esteem, but what kind of self-esteem can he have when he's a joke to the whole student body? Why, seriously, Pete, baby, don't you think he's becoming just a little bit obsessed? Like maybe he has some particular end in mind? Like what? I don't know, but the whole thing reminds me of David and Goliath. And you know what happened to that nasty old giant? I think you got it. Well, just a couple more times, Mr. Norris. Please. I want to get it down perfect. Well, okay. This time, without the numbers. Okay. That was a pretty good throw you did out there. It's my best one. You think you could throw me? Maybe. How about Vic Martin? I guess I could. You know, Larry, the skill you're learning carries a big responsibility. I sure would hate to see you abuse it. I don't think I know what you mean. I understand how you feel about Vic Martin. He sort of represents all the big guys who ever put you down. But I would hate to see you use what you're learning to become the same kind of guy he is. Hey, you were the one that turned me on to karate. Now you sound as though you don't want me to use it. I know. But I never meant for you to learn the sport so you could get revenge on people. What the heck is it good for then? You don't expect me to go around being a marshmallow when I don't have to, do you? No. And by the same token, I don't expect you to go around trying to prove to people you're a big man either. I have to prove something to myself, though. Park across the street after school. Well, no. If it ain't my man, the moose. <laughs> if you don't come, it's because you're chicken. <laughs> Baby, you got to be jiving. You better be there, or I'll come looking for you. <laughs> Come with me. It's high noon out in the park. Larry? Who else? Heard you was looking for me. Hmm? You told me I'd have wore my pajamas too. Look out! Look <laughs> out! <laughs> so you didn't think I knew all that. You see, baby, it's all in the yell. Somebody could get killed messing with that karate or something. Oh, man. oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. 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 You busy next Saturday night? 
I'm afraid I am, Larry. Well, how about Saturday after that? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I really thought you were great. But, well... I go with Ron Hensey. Him? Good to prove how tough I am. She's going with a cat that looks worse than I do. Fortunes of war, Larry. And you were right about karate, too. I'm only going to use it to strengthen my inner character. Right. Peace. <laughs> 